Hi guys, I just wanted to show you this new power supply and it's not new by any means. I resurrected it and it actually looked like it got ran over by a dump truck. The whole thing was smashed. All the metal was bent. Uh, every piece and part on it was basically smashed other than this knob and all the internal parts were good. <clears throat> so I went about uh, restoring it the best I could and it's a total cost now of twenty dollars so now I have a new power supply and what's really cool about this is it has a, a variable transformer in it so you can adjust the speed just by adjusting the transformer and the adjustable transformer feeds a secondary transformer which gives you DC and AC the secondary transformer goes into a rectifier for the DC and the secondary transformer goes directly to here for the AC. So it's a really great design. Over here we have a filter inductor <clears throat> and that just filters out the ripple for the DC. I'll show you what the schematic looks like. That's actually all there is to it. You have the adjustable transformer, goes into a transformer a bridge rectifier and then a capacitor on your output and if you want to get really fancy uh, on your positive you can add an inductor coil which is this big guy here <clears throat> you have one capacitor before the inductor and one after the inductor and it's just one wire on your positive and you could use any coil you want and that just helps filter the DC that's not actually necessary so you could just use this for your power supply Right now it's running this motor, and you can see how slow it's going, and I've got it turned down. And if you watch this, I'll turn it up. And the old school stuff sounds great. You can actually hear it, unlike that digital garbage. So that's full power. That's kind of scary this motor. Uh, this is the motor I just built. That's about 40 volts so that's where this thing maxes out at, even though it says 36, it actually maxes out at about 40 volts. So, there you have it. So, if you can get a hold of one of these adjustable uh, transformers, they're uh, one of the easiest ways to do an adjustable power supply. And if you can find one, I found this one in the scrap metal supplier, it was $5 for the whole unit. So if you can find something like that at the uh, scrap metal center, uh, all the power to you. And I just wanted to show it to you. I thought it was kind of neat. And also wanted to show you the motor at uh, 40 volts. Pretty scary. So that's about it. Thanks a lot, guys.